Well, Mr. Commons uh, said was that I had lost my son in 2005. He was in Iraq. And one of the things that we as parents, now everyone's familiar with Mr. Commons and, and, and his loss. And I, I know you are, and, and uh, I've been a part of that. But one thing that parents feel, there's two things that parents feel. One, that their child's sacrifice not have been in vain. And two, <clears throat> that they not be forgotten. And those are really two critical areas that are important to family, to friends, to, to those who knew you know, that individual and, and who know the family. And what I realized many, several years ago when I lost my son was that the nation didn't have a symbol that represented our fallen specifically. There are a lot of symbols out there for everything. Everybody has a symbol. You guys have your own symbol for Annandale High School. But yet, in the history of our country, there has never been a symbol that specifically recognized our fallen heroes. I mean, even the POWs had their own symbol. And I recognize that there was a void in our country because of that. Because the sacrifice that those men and women have given us from the beginning of, of our country is why we have our freedoms today. It's what allows us to do whatever we want to do and to live our dreams and build our visions however we want to do it. It's on these, on the lives of these young men and women, many of them not much older than you, not even had a chance to live the life that they had fought to give us. And I thought that that was wrong. I thought that as we support our troops every day, we needed to have a way to remember our fallen because when we lose one of our troops, what category is there for them? And I began to think, oh yeah, we have Memorial Day for them. We have Veterans Day for them. So they get two days a year. It seemed kind of unfair, isn't it, for someone to lose their lives and for us to remember them two days a year. I was thinking last weekend, Memorial Day weekend, that what happens when we lose someone this week? Do we get to wait till next year to honor them? That doesn't seem right, does it? So I thought what we needed, what this nation needed, was a way to visually, tangibly say thank you for that sacrifice every day. And we don't have to shout it. We can silently display a symbol. This is how, the, how and why the honor and remember flag was created. I didn't bring the right one in here, but I'm going to show you this anyway. No, I'm not going to show you this one. I, I'm not going to show you this one. So the Honor Remember flag was created for that purpose. And the flag symbolizes military and universal symbolism, as you will see as I show it to you. So there are three parts of our organization that exist. One is to make this a national flag so that it flies permanently in government buildings, in military installations, in households, around this country so that everybody can see and appreciate that sacrifice. Two is to create awareness for all of you to let your friends and your family know that there's a flag that symbolizes the sacrifice of our fallen. And three is to make a presentation to every family that we can find who has sacrificed, made that ultimate sacrifice for our country because of the importance of what that sacrifice means. They never forget. We should never forget. And we are here today, Tom and I, to present to Mr. Commons a personalized honor remember flag. And with you, you know, in witness to that. And Principal, sir, would you read this certificate, please, for sure. us to, to the <coughs> flag? Okay, honor and remember. This honor and remember flag is presented with eternal gratitude and respect in memory of Corporal Matthew A. Commons. With this flag, we honor the Patriots' unwavering dedication and remember their selfless sacrifice. By displaying this symbol collectively <coughs> as a nation, we humbly recognize the enormity of your loss and respectfully say thank you. present this, I want to explain to you why it's folded like this. When Mr. Commons 
was at the memorial service of his son, received a folded American flag. That flag was meant to be folded, to stay folded, and ceremoniously, in respect to that loss, be kept in that condition. The honor and remember flag is to mirror that American flag in its fold, but is meant to be unfolded, to be displayed, so that we all realize the importance of that sacrifice. And I'd like to present to you, so this honor and remember flag in honor of your son, Matthew. the meaning if I can sure. for a second. I didn't want to open that other flag because I had I had another name and I did I wanted to show you a, one without a name and I didn't bring it in with me. But the symbolism on this flag so you all know and you all please go to the website and check it out. But the red and the white field of this flag symbolize the sacrifice of blood and the purity of that sacrifice. Because these men and women went overseas innocently believing in their mission, and also seemingly invincible that they would be home. So they willingly gave their lives for each of us. The blue star in the center of this flag goes back to World War I, when family members would hang a blue star on the windows or doors, signifying that they had somebody out in combat, out in danger. The gold star overlaying that blue star signified that that military service men or women was not coming home. The folded flag, everybody knows what a folded flag means, don't you? It signifies a loss, and typically a military loss or a civil servant loss, whether it be police or fire, but it signifies one individual loss. And this loss, our country was built on one loss at a time from the beginning of our history. And the flames above it signify eternal remembrance. We will never forget we will always remember. And the words, we will honor them by name and remember their sacrifice. And you can find all of this on the website in terms of the uh, in terms of the Thanks, sir. Let's get another picture. Okay. I was up here with <laughs>